Alzheimer disease is one of the commonest neurodegenerative disease of the brain which results in problem with the memory and other functions of the brain because of which patient loses his capacity to function normally. It is a form of dementia and it is a commonest form of dementia. Dementia is a common generic term of which Alzheimer is one form of dementia. Almost 60 to 70 percent of the dementias are because of the Alzheimer disease. However, there can be other causes of dementia like vascular dementia, frontotemporal dementia, Lewy body dementia and many other causes which can result in a similar picture. However, they may not be dementia but they can be treated. Yeah, this is a very good question. What are the early signs of dementia disease? Uh, uh, Alzheimer disease are actually commonly mistaken as it is just aging process or it is just as mood disturbance. The patient often feels that he is not able to recollect recent items as efficiently as he was able to do it earlier. Sometimes there may be mood changes and sometimes there may be changes in his ability to perform certain fine motor tasks or certain fine executive tasks. He may find difficulty if he's a high profile worker, he may find difficulty in performing his work. However, grossly, these patients are able to live their life normally. They are not dependent for activities of daily living on other people in the family or in the society. They are able to move about normally. So this question, like as I told you, early changes are those. So the patient have early, uh, you can say mild, moderate and severe dementia, early, middle or late dementia. So early dementia, I have always, uh, I have already told you that is basically when patient can function normally in the society, but finds it difficult to remember recent things, find it it takes him time to do certain tasks which he was able to do efficiently or sometimes he may not be able to do. Whereas in mild dementia, these features may progress to moderate dementia or middle level of dementia where patients are not able to remember daily course, they become more and more dependent on the caregivers. They may forget their uh, way back home if they have gone out they may also falter on their uh, looking after themselves like they may forget the way to toilet in their own home and they may be finding it difficult to do simple tasks which they were able to do very efficiently earlier so patient often is becoming unaware of also of his difficulty when it becomes little advanced dementia Alzheimer disease, we do not know one cause of Alzheimer disease. Most of the Alzheimer disease is caused by certain changes in the brain which we see are happening that is MLI demo, uh, deposition and neurofibrillatory tangles. What are the patient in which it can happen more and what are the patient in which it can happen less that those things we know. So some of the one to two percent of the patient of Alzheimer's may have a genetic cause. Otherwise, it is a mix of patient's own genetic predisposition and environmental factors which couple together to make it more in certain people and less in certain other people. So people who have uh, more than 65 years of age and having problem with their memory, executive function, mood, behavioral disorder, these are less likely to be familial or hereditary. If it happens earlier in age, then it is likely to be hereditary. So if a younger person gets dementia, maybe heredity is more important. If a older people get more than 65 years of age, maybe it is an environment and genetic factor. Environmental factors are those which, cause, which are different diseases, in fact, including pollution, blood pressure, diabetes, stroke and diet and sedentary lifestyle all these contribute to more likelihood of dementia or more severe effect of dementia 
सो एज आई हैव टोल्ड यू इन प्रीवियस टेस्टिंग देर इज certain types of alzheimers where we know that there is a direct genetic link we call them uh, and they present early so you have presenilin gene which can be responsible for it however and there is uh, duchenne muscular dystrophy which is a trisomy 21 which also because it has got three uh, 21 uh, genes so it can also have more of dementia however in most of the dementia we do not have a direct genetic contribution apo e4 is one allele if you have heterozygous it is 3% chance and if you have homozygous it is 14% chance so these are the things which make it more common in certain individual or if some family member has dementia there is little more increased chance however we do in most of the cases we do not have a direct hereditary link most of the people who have it in later age are non hereditary dementia as on date we do not have any cure for uh, alzheimer disease we use the term care for a patient of alzheimers there are certain drugs which can improve the quality uh, of life of alzheimers patient and then there are certain programs which can help uh, alzheimers patient and then there there are certain uh, drugs which can give you slight uh, improvement in the symptoms of the patient most of the time treatment of the alzheimer disease as on date is addressing to the symptoms of the patient suppose if symptoms as patient has behavioral problem we give him uh, drugs to control his behavior which becomes difficult for family to manage if patient has uh, hallucination or delusion we try to help the patient out with it and if there are factors which can accelerate the process of dementia besides alzheimers we try to control those factors like blood pressure diabetes spirit lifestyle smoking sleep so there are host of factors which can be modified to give a alzheimers patient a better quality of life and a longer uh, duration of uh, normal functioning or a mild uh, demented functioning before patient deteriorates as i have already told you that uh, we cannot prevent alzheimer disease but we can modify the factor which worsen the alzheimers or which uh, make it happen and make it progress faster and uh, these are factor to control that if a person they say uh, the antidote for alzheimer is socialization so this is one of the thing which they say so when you are getting older or at any age if you have many d taken care of like you take care of the drugs you consume you take care of the diseases you have and you control them like if you have hypertension heart uh, heart disease diabetes uh, if you have obesity if you have consumption of spirit and smoking these things limited your sleep should be normal your lifestyle should include a mix of good diet which has a mix of all the colors of raw vegetable and fruits mix of diet which is less in carbohydrate less in fats probably they say mediterranean diet is better for the brain and dash diet so these are specific diet however in general if you consume diet which is good for your general health it is good for your brain also then comes your lifestyle that means if you are physically active that also helps your brain if you are socially active it also helps your brain if you indulge in a new learning every year even in later part of your life that also help education helps so being uh, outgoing and meeting your people also helps and once you have certain symptoms of dementia to continue your life normally if your day is programmed in a manner where you are less dependent on your cues from memory then also it helps so you have to have a balanced active lifestyle which includes social 
spiritual mental and physical uh, looking after of your needs as an individual alzheimers uh, disease ke bare mein hamare samaj mein awareness badhne se hum alzheimer disease ke mareezon ki zyada help kar sakte hain aksar hamare samaj mein ye dekha gaya hai ki hum alzheimers ke mareez ko पागल कह के या इसका कोई इलाज नहीं है कह के छोड़ देते हैं और एक स्टिग्मा अटैच हो जाता है मेरी आपसे ये गुजारिश है कि आपके पेशेंट में यदि आपको छोटे छोटे ऐसे लक्षण दिखाई दें जिनमें वो भूलने लगा है जिनमें वो आपने सामान्य काम करने में डिफ़िकल्टी पाने लगा है या उसके बोलने में कुछ डिफ़िकल्टी है उसको अपने नाम ढूंढने में शब्द ढूँढने में डिफ़िकल्टी आने लगी है तो आप डॉक्टर के पास जाइए आप उसका प्रॉपर डायग्नोसिस कराइए और उस डायग्नोसिस में आज की डेट में हम बहुत सारे ऐसे कारण ढूंढ लेते हैं जिनको ठीक करने पर पेशेंट की क्वालिटी ऑफ लाइफ बेटर हो जाती है और काफ़ी सारे ऐसे डिमेंशिया हैं जो रिवर्सिबल हैं और इवन एल्जेमर डिमेंशिया यदि आपको डायग्नोस हो जाता है तो आपको मालूम है कि उस पेशेंट को किन दवाइयों से कुछ सहायता की जा सकती है और कैसे ऐसे और माध्यम हैं या कैसे ऐसे और हेल्प है जिनकी सहायता से मरीज की लाइफ को नॉर्मलाइज किया जा सकता है एल्जीमर पूरे परिवार को असर करती है इसलिए केयर गिवर को भी प्रॉपर काउंसलिंग और पेशेंट को प्रॉपर ट्रीटमेंट की ज़रूरत है इसको इग्नोर मत करिए अपने डॉक्टर से संपर्क करिए यदि आपके मरीज को मेमरी या ब्रेन के किसी फंक्शन से रिलेटेड प्रॉब्लम नज़र आती है थैंक यू